All right, welcome back, guys. I got both bikes apart. Uh, I've got the 250 watt motor off of uh, the new bike, uh, and I am just comparing the controllers. The exact they are the exact same part number. It's kind of hard to read. Uh, easy to tell which one's the new one and which one's the old one. Uh, so the upgraded display is what is muting your uh, acceleration. Now, if you have the 250 motor on, because you got a replacement bike. Uh, you might want to swap out the rear tire, and that's what I'm doing too. I'm going to swap out the controller, the rear tire, and the display on the old bike. Um, and it's pretty pretty much a straightforward process. There are a couple of wires in here that don't get used, so uh, I just fold them back uh, when I'm taking out the controller. Uh, and I notice that it's not connected to anything. I just fold that back, and that way I know that uh, when I put everything back together that that's not going to be used. Uh, so this one with 3,500 miles on it, you can kind of see it, you know, it's a little dirty in the hole. Uh, so I'm going to clean all that out while, while I'm in here. Uh, but if you're going to be doing this, you're going to find that some of your connectors have a small amount of hot glue that are holding them together. And, and that's actually kind of a nice feature. Uh, as you can see right there, uh, I, I'm just picking it off, pick it off with a pocket knife or uh, with your fingernail and peel it loose. Uh, but that's that's a good uh, backup. It's holding these uh, wires together. So if you're doing this, you're probably going to want to replace this stuff when you're when you're putting it back together. Uh, let's see what else did I notice? Uh, this one, yeah, I picked up a little road debris, so I'll be doing some waterproofing in here. And then you can see some rubbing that that I've got. And when I got into this bike with all the miles on it. Uh, I, I had had a rattle so when I put this back in there I'm probably gonna wrap it with uh, something that's waterproof and and just make sure that I'm not getting any more metal contact uh, from the controller so that you know eventually it won't short out but uh, anyway if you're uh, if you are swapping out the rear tire on your bike the first thing you want to do is take off the battery rail then you'll take off two covers that are here and then just one by one uh, take these uh, apart and uh, and then you'll disassemble the rear tire uh, now someone pointed out I just uh, I that uh, the connectors are actually in a different place uh, that on the new bike uh, the the wire coming from uh, the rear motor it comes down and it actually has a connector here outside and this one has a connector on the inside so if you're swapping it out, there will be a difference in the length of the wire. So that's something to take out into consideration. So if you're going to swap out the rear 70, 750 watt, use the original controller that came with the original bike. And uh, all your wire placement should be good. And uh, everything should go back together. I'm going to put all the uh, electronics from the old bike on the new bike. And then I'll give it a test. But I got a feeling it's going to be the old speed demon that I loved. Anyway, guys, I hope this helped. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Uh, I'm going to say it again. Like and subscribe if you got this bike. I'll be happy to tell you anything and everything I know about the T1 cargo bike. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.